Ball part two of our coverage of the Concrete Foundations Forum in Los Angeles. And first up tonight, we are going to have a chat with Jennifer from L7. So hi, Jennifer. Hi. Welcome to MTV and uh, also Thanks. the Concrete Foundations Forum. How are you doing? Actually, we were just looking for an excuse to go sit by the Ivy. So <laughs> we came out here. Yeah. Very nice, chilling out here by the pool. And, uh, you know, you've just got off uh, Lola Palooza tour. Lola tell us love the, handles. Yeah, tell us a little bit how, how that went. What can I say? It was a uh, it was summer camp during the day and a rock and roll damnation at night. We did some heavy bonding over some heavy duty liquor with uh, the other bands. And, you know, it was great. It's like, you know, if you're a waitress, you either go work at a really lame restaurant or you go work where all your friends are. And we're musicians and we tour, so we got a tour with all of our friends this summer and it was great. Oh, what a fantastic experience. You must be on a, on a real, like, high when you come off something like that. Actually, the second I get off, like around the time we're supposed to play, I start getting really confused and I don't know where to go and <laughs> what to do with myself. Decompression. It's like coming out of a submarine after Absolutely. months of service. And you're here at Concrete Foundations Forum. Jennifer was on sell the... Some records. <laughs> well, Hello. also... Hungry for Stink. <laughs> Hungry for Stink, by the record. Well, we're going to talk about that in a minute, but I just wondered if, um, you know, what, what you thought of the, the whole concept of Foundations Forum and what you think of what's going on here today. Ka-ching, ka-ching. No, <laughs> I don't know. There's not much. I think it's a good excuse to go sit by the pool. Yeah. Drink a few beers. Sure. It's a good excuse to get you out here in beautiful smell A. <laughs> well, I'm very glad to be here. I think it's great. There you go. Well, we talk about Hungry for Stink now because the killer new album already out in Europe, as uh, our viewers know only too well. Uh, was that a difficult or easy album to, make, to write and record? It was like... For all the ladies out there who are mothers know what it feels like to give birth. It was sort of like passing a child into the, the world. It was exc excruciatingly painful. Mm -hmm. But we bit off the umbilical cord and sent it forth, and now it's on its own two feet. Yeah. And it sounds like you had a lot of fun in the studio as well with people like Biohazard. And well, yeah, <laughs> I guess so. We did uh, whittle away some of the more harder hours with Biohazard was in one studio across the way and the Rolling Stones were in another studio in the same mm -hmm. building so when we didn't have anything to do we'd sit and go hinkly on, on the Rolling Stones like sit in front of the room and have, have Keith sightings and that kind of stuff and play jokes on Biohazard I mean Biohazard <laughs> to relieve the stress a little bit of actually making the album yeah I mean you've dealt with um, I know that you've all been involved in the songwriting this time and uh You've dealt with some quite serious issues, and I know that one thing you feel particularly strong, strongly about is women's rights and so on. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your involvement with that? Well, I think that anyone who's, who lives and breathes and is in this world is, is concerned about who they are and what, what place they play in the world. And we, we have other songs too, I mean. Yeah. We, there well, there's some fun things and there's some more serious things. I, I, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. We're all just filters for our own experiences and as artists we present what, how we see things in the world and sometimes it's, you know, being bummed because we can't walk down the street late mm -hmm. at night because we're being threatened and sometimes it's, you know, it's just about this, the sound of a guitar, of a wheel spinning as a race car takes off, you know, whatever can be either being angry at somebody because they're lame you know yeah. it could be anything so when are you going to actually come back and do an extensive european Never, tour sorry we're sitting by the pool we're going to come back in november yeah we'll be there headlining will tour. you be there yes well i'd love to be there i think so we really want to take our friends the super suckers i mean i don't know if it's going to happen they're mm -hmm. they're from seattle and they're definitely the ugly americans and we're the <laughs> ugly americans and we want to show up and do ugly things well, we look forward to seeing L7 uh, in November on tour in Europe. And uh, talking of songs on the album, Hungry for Stink, we're going into the video uh, for uh, Andres and... Andre. Andre. And, the uh, is silent in is. America. Well, thank you for correcting me there. That's the American and, pronunciation. And this song is kind of by way of an apology, I think, is it? Yes, we are very <laughs> sorry, people. I'm going to go over and see Andre today, so i got to go. Okay, well, thanks to Jennifer, and let's... See the video for Andres and yes, L7, they really are sorry. <laughs>